Hello and welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Will. And I'm your host, Zach. Today we've got stories about an automotive plant closing, local movie theaters, attempted murder, code red, and a rabid fox. Stabbing. The Ithaca Police Department is looking for a suspect in connection with a stabbing that took place Saturday night in Ithaca. According to a press release from Sergeant Thomas Condizella, around 7.30 p.m., police responded to a report of a stabbing on Chestnut Street. The circumstances of the incident have not been released, but Condizella said upon arrival, police found an Ithaca resident who had been stabbed in the torso. Officers interviewed the victim and one other person on scene, however at this time the suspect still remains at large. The victim was taken to a hospital via helicopter and is expected to survive their injuries. The, incident in t the investigation into the incident is ongoing and the IPD urges you to contact them if you have any information. Beginning this Tuesday, January 31st, Cinemopolis will begin Masked Tuesdays, during which all staff and moviegoers will be wearing face masks. Masked Tuesdays is an effort to make the theater more accessible to those who feel most comfortable wearing masks. During Mask Tuesdays, candy and baked goods will be available to purchase and take home in place of typical concessions, and masking throughout the visit will be encouraged. In an announcement made about Mask Tuesdays, Cinemopolis Executive Director Kate Donahue said, quote, Cinemopolis is committed to making moviegoing as accessible and enjoyable as possible to everyone in our community, end quote. Also with the same intent for moviegoers is captioned Wednesdays, during which the theater will provide captions on the big screens for any movie for which captions are available. Cinemopolis board and staff remain committed to featuring movies that entertain and enrich and focus, creating a welcoming experience for all moviegoers. One of Tompkins County's largest job providers, Borg Warner, is significantly cutting its workforce locally. Over the next two years, the local automotive manufacturer will be closing one of its two plants at its Warren Road campus near Lansing starting in 2024. The final number of jobs impacted is unknown, but it could be as much as a quarter of the employment base over the next two years. The total number may take years to actually determine, though notification for employees of this decision began this week. According to a public relations specialist, the company is, quote, committed to ensuring the smoothest transition possible for any impacted employees while also continuing to support our customers and supplies over the coming months, end quote. On February 4th, Ithaca High School's first robotics team, Code Red Robotics, will be hosting its first STEM open house since 2020. Open from 1 to 4 p.m., all community members, this year's open house will be an opportunity for people of all ages to engage with STEM activities and concepts with their friends and family, free of charge. The open house will take place at Ithaca High School at 1401 North Cayuga Street, with event entrance doors at Lake Street parking lot and the school cafeteria. There will be a number of fun interactive activities geared towards middle and elementary school kids, but everyone is welcome to come. Rabid animals. On January 20th, 2023, a rabid gray fox was spotted near an apartment on University Avenue, just west of Cornell's campus, and then headed toward the Fall Creek neighborhood. In a siren alert on Friday afternoon, the Tompkins County Environmental Health Division said that, quote, the gray fox attempted to bite a person at about 1.40 p.m., end quote, and that, quote, the person was able to kick the fox away and it went into the woods at the top of the natural area between University Avenue and Lynn, end quote. Tompkins County urges that if anyone was bitten or came in contact with the fox, to contact the Tompkins County Environmental Health Division. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching Lake, Lake Street, Street News, News, and, and have, have a great day. day. Okay, that last story, Whew. that last story, that literally was... That was a story, all yeah, right. Yeah, that was a that fox was a story. I wonder how the fox is doing now. Yeah, maybe the fox is listening to my album. You know, it's I available don't think everywhere. they would. Maybe I don't know. You never know. No, I don't think foxes can listen to music. I mean, maybe. I, I don't, don't think so. I think the fox is doing fox things. Yeah, you know, maybe. <laughs>